Hey there Dev Squad Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can package our game so that it can be played on the various different types of platforms, whether that is iOS, Android, PC or any other platform that Windows, uh, our Windows environment for Unreal Engine is going to support. Now, the main ones that I'm going to be focusing on is Android, iOS, and Windows. Now, where we are with our project at the moment is we have a pretty solid foundation for our Endless Runner game. We have all the main functionalities such as moving left, right, up, and down, and we've got different types of obstacles and power-ups. Now, this is the foundation for our game, and I'm happy with where it is at. If you guys want to take this one step further, you can do so, and you can learn some of those additional tools and techniques by watching some of my fundamental series, such as my animation series, user interface series, material creation, level design, and all of that good stuff to take things one step further and add in things like extra characters, extra UI elements, or even just change up your environment a little bit more. You can learn how to do that by checking out those series but what we do have for now is the foundation for our game and that is the one bit that pretty much if everyone is going to have exactly the same. So having said that, where I am now I am happy to package the game so that people can play this on the various different platforms whether that's Android, iOS, Windows, whatever. Now, the way that we're going to be doing this is pretty straightforward, and that's exactly what I want to talk about in today's video. Now, before you can do any packaging, especially to the mobile platforms, you need to have a quick read through the quick start guides for both iOS and Android. These are both provided by Unreal Engine, and as such, I've also left the links for these in the description of this video. Now, within these quick start guides, you have a couple of things that you need to install. For example, with Android, you need to install Codeworks and the Android SDK so that you can actually package your game for this. And you also have a couple of things that you need to do within your project settings. It's really straightforward. All you've got to do is just follow these few basic steps within this quick start guide. It's the same with the iOS, you need to install the iOS prerequisites, which is like their SDK, and then just change some of the project settings to make sure this works as well. And once again, all of this is going to be depending on the platform that you want to publish to. So go ahead and check these out if you do want to export to mobile. Moving back into Unreal Engine, let's take a look at some of the stuff that we can do within the editor to actually publish our game. Now, if you've done all of that quick start stuff, first and foremost, you can preview your game on your mobile device. And the way you can do this, if you've plugged it in and set it up correctly, is next to your launch button, in the top right hand corner, you've got options for launching on a device. Within here, you can see I have got an option for my mobile device. Now for you, if this is an iPhone, it will show up. If it's another Android device, it should show up if everything has been set up correctly. For me, I've got my OnePlus 5T. Now, because I've set everything up, I can click this. And what it's going to do is it is going to start trying to launch it onto my device. So it's going to take a moment. It's going to start packaging up the project and dumping it straight onto this device. Now, the only issue that you're gonna have when you're doing it this way is you're essentially only loading it up on there. And what I mean by that is you're not gonna have a APK file or an executable that you are gonna be able to share. It's only gonna go onto that one specific device. And that is where your packaging is gonna come into play. So what I'm going to do is cancel that, as I don't really need to do it. If I just leave this running, it will launch up on my device, and I'm going to be able to see that in my apps drawer. It's completely unattended, and you don't need to do anything. So if you leave it running, everything will work. For now, I'm going to press cancel and move on to show you how you can actually package your game. 
When it comes to packaging, first and foremost, you want to make sure you have got everything within your project settings set up correctly. What I mean by that is, if you go under project and then description, you want to make sure you've got your project name set up correctly, your project version, the company name, so that people know it is your app. You know, you've just got all of these little details that you need to fill in, which is going to be attached to that project once you publish it. Moving on from there, what you've also got is your maps and modes. Now, I've already talked you through this as part of the series, but what you want to make sure you have before you project, uh, you package your game is that your main menu level is going to be your game default map and your game mode is all set up as well so that it launches everything in the way that it should do. Moving on from there, you've also got your packaging tab and this is just going to allow you to fine tune how your project is packaged. Now for us, we are currently doing a development build configuration as you can see. And what this is going to do is it's still going to show you all of your print strings. So you're going to have all of that kind of stuff on the screen so that you can still do that debugging. If this is going to be your final version of your project, you are going to want to make sure you set this up so it is the shipping version so you don't get those print strings anymore. Supported platforms, you want to make sure you tick all platforms or if you untick it, you can choose where you want it to go to, whether that's Android, desktop, HTML5, Linux, iOS, Mac or whatever. You just need to make sure you read those guides on the Unreal Engine website and install those prerequisites. For me, I'm happy for this to just go to all platforms. So I'm going to close that and show you how you can actually package your endless runner game. It's really straightforward. And this is all providing you've done the quick start stuff like I showed you. So packaging it so you actually get an executable file is going to be done from file, package project, and then you choose your platform. Now for me, this is going to be Android. And if I package this to Android using this top option here, which is going to basically work with any type of Android device, it's going to give us an APK file. And this is essentially going to be an executable file that we can share and use to let people install our application. So I can go ahead and click this. And what I'm going to need to do is basically just select a folder to put this file. For me, I've made a folder called Android export. You can right click and create a new one if you haven't done so already. Select this and then select the folder. And once again, what you're going to be doing is having this unattended process. But this time it is going to be packaging it so we have an APK file. And then with that, all you've got to do is drop it onto your Android device or drop it into the App Store, wherever you're trying to share it. And then people can download that and install it onto their devices. I'm going to press cancel as we don't need to watch the whole process. Once again, it is um, unattended, so you don't need to do anything. Go back to package project. You can do the same thing for iOS if you've set that up. Now, I don't have an iOS device, but it's just going to be exactly the same. You are going to need to have iTunes and do all the prerequisites. Now, because I don't have an iOS device, I can't do that at the moment. Moving on from there, you've also got your Windows, you've got your 32-bit and your 64-bit. 32-bit is going to be for older machines that do use that processor architecture. Uh, most of the time, just going to want to create a 64-bit. And once again, this is going to allow you to publish to Windows and it's going to give you an executable file, a .exe as opposed to a .apk for Android. Uh, but the main thing is you are just selecting a folder and then you are just telling the engine where to package the game to and it's going to give you that executable file. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys for actually getting your project onto your different device, whether that's Android, iOS or Windows. You've got loads and loads of different options there. But for now guys, I hope you have enjoyed the series and don't forget if you want to take it one step further, you can do so by checking out any one of my fundamental theories on the channel. Once again, 
Thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.